Yeah, World Heart Day is a very, very important day, especially for me being a cardiologist and many more like me. And I would like to pass on and spread the message that heart is the most important organ of the body. Actually, it is the engine of the body and make sure that your engine is perfect, it is well over oiled and it is smooth so that the, the whole machine, the body runs well in a very healthy and a very, very uh, uh, nice and effective manner. This is a very bitter fact that by 2020, India is going to be the world capital of coronary artery disease and diabetes and it is something about which we should be very worried about rather than feeling pride about it. And the burden is increasing, we have to make sure that by all means we are able to reduce the burden first and the steps should be taken in a multi-pronged manner. We have to be very, very aggressive as far as the preventive aspect of this problem is concerned, good healthy lifestyle and the measures, the, what all we should take, I think all of us know about it and a lot has been discussed in print media, electronic media and through different mediums and we also need to treat the existing cases to make sure that the morbidity decreases and mort mortality also decreases. The radial procedure, the radial approach that is working through the artery of the wrist we started in year 2000 during that, that time a very few centers in the world used to practice and when we started we were the first major center to start in this country. Uh, even America was not doing radial at that time. We knew the advantages of the procedure apart from being you know a very patient friendly procedure, patient walks in and walks out of the care table, they do not require urine pot, they do not require bed pens, they can, they can mentally also feel very good and all these cosmetic advantages they are there but the most important one is it reduces the complication rate particularly the vascular complication rates and nowadays the studies have very clearly shown that the most morbid part of the disease that is acute heart attack interventions, the STEMI interventions, radius, radial has shown a distinct advantage over the groin procedure and in India nowadays around 40 or 45 percent of the patients are being uh, you know done through radial and I wish that it, it reaches nearly 80, 90 percent and nearing 100 percent. In US also from zero now they are around 35, 40 percent and across the world in many European countries, Japan, even Canada, it is more than 70, 80 percent. You should, you know, I mean it depends, you know, when, when you go to your cardiologist for a procedure, if cardiologist is doing radial, he will not give you any other option. It does not mean that out of 100, all 100 cases can be done through radial, maybe one or two cases the radial may not be suitable. In that case, the groin approach that is the femoral approach can be used. But as far as possible, if a patient can be offered a transradial approach for coronary angiography and intervention, that is so far the best approach as far as the patient, the hospital and the community is concerned. Technology plays a very, very important and a major role as far as management of the heart disease is concerned, particularly the invasive management is concerned. Like if you have a good cath lab, you can perform better and you, if you have the most advanced and the best cath lab, then you can perform even better. Just for example, I, you know like 
we work on a very top of the line innova you know igs 520 and we feel so comfortable with the image and everything and even the patients are being benefited if the technology is good the the results are good and if the results are good ultimately it percol percolates in the better health of the society so one should be aware and one should be conscious when they go to their doctor or their hospital they should also inquire about the technology being practiced by the doctor not only the aesthetics of the hospital cardiovascular disease burden you know if we want to reduce we are already late but better late than never and we should start working on a very very major scale and you know in a very very comprehensive manner and a collective manner it can be it has to be done at the government level it has to be done at state government level it has to be done at a community level and it has to be also done at the the cardiologist level the preventive part is extremely important the treatment part is extremely important even the follow up part is extremely important medical management also is equally important all this combined ultimately will have an impact in reduction of coronary artery disease burden in this country and in this world if we start now the results will be seen maybe after one two or three decades